<sighs> Here we are again. I was originally only going to have one episode of this, but damn it, this is so fun that I think I'm going to do it more. A single episode in and the title is already meaningless. That's got to be some sort of record. I'm going to start having a schedule now, and I'm going to start recording once-only episodes every single week. God help me. Well, whatever. Roll the titles. Once only it's a growing show. Once only it's the only one you know, but sit tight. Cause I am ready to go. Come with me as I learn to make it. And we'll see wherever we will take it. Making stuff up as we go along. Don't know what level of irony I'll be operating on But I know that I made a semi-decent title song Come and see all these great things with me Welcome to One Only Have you been playing Hearthstone? I, I think I'm gonna like this hero Have you gotten sick of it? Ah, well played. Don't bother. I know I have. And the main deterrent for me is something I'm going to call the Hearthstone Cycle. It mainly has to do with the fact that most of your daily quests require you to win your games. But you can't win the games unless you have the decks. You can't have the decks unless you collect the cards. You can't collect the cards unless you get the dust. You can't get the dust unless you buy the packs. You can't buy the packs unless you earn the gold. You can't earn the gold unless you complete the quests. And you can't complete the quests unless you win the games. So it's a never-ending reverse feedback loop where you never feel like you're doing anything. The game I'm showcasing today, Eternal, solves those problems every single step of the way. Firstly, there's having the decks. Eternal is much less restrictive in what cards you can have in what decks, compared to Hearthstone or even Magic. Because instead of mana, it has power, which is similar to Magic's version of mana, in that you have to draw out the cards that you need. You can put cards of multiple colours inside a deck, and indeed there exist cards that themselves are multiple colours. You've got five of them. Fire, Time, Justice, Primal, and Shadow. Obviously echoing Magic the Gathering's colours. There are cards with basically every combination out there thanks to the most recent expansion, and you have no limit on what colours you can put in what decks. However, you do need to draw your resources. So I mean, you can play a five colour deck, but it's really inconsistent. Even four colour decks is pushing it in a lot of cases. Three is usually the biggest manageable number, two is usually the default, and one is where you don't have to worry about colour at all. I recommend those kind of decks for getting started. You'd think that cards being able to mingle together like this would restrict design space, but Eternal goes one step further in the name of freedom with its influence mechanic. If the mana you've played before is two reds and two blues, and let's say you have a card with blue blue in your hand, in Magic, you would only be able to play one of those. But, in Eternal, you can play them both. So influence is more like unlocking the rest of your deck, rather than having to draw up the means to power your cards. Influence got a lot more relevant in this recent expansion, but that's neither here nor there. Collecting the cards is much easier too, because Eternal has a suite of options for importing user-created decks, and then has a single button for filling out the cards you don't have. So you only craft the cards that you actually need to build a competitive deck. Not like the ones Hearthstone gives you. Getting the dust is much easier. Even though legendaries look like they're twice the price of Hearthstone, you get dust way easier in this game. But one major factor to this is that every pack you open gives you a hundred free dust. So even if you get complete dud cards, you still are working towards that card you want. Getting the stuff you need from packs is a little less cut and dry. I will give credit to Hearthstone here. They do have one thing that's not strictly objectively worse than Eternal's progression system, and that's the ability to get multiple rares within the same pack. 
so you can get that golden legendary nut draw. But more likely you'll just get 40 packs of nothing and then the pity timer kicks in and then you get one legendary. Woo. Whereas in Eternal, it's always one rare or higher and then 15 cards that are commons and uncommons. Any of which can be shiny and the rare has a 10% chance of being a legendary. Pretty simple. Now earning the gold is where Eternal really kicks Hearthstone around the curb. Hearthstone puts so many restrictions on the maybe a hundred gold a day that you actually get. Whereas with Eternal, between the daily quests, stuff in the chests, and grinding the gauntlet, you could conceivably earn about 10,000 gold per day. That's about 10 packs. A day. Not to mention the one pack outside of any quest-related shenanigans that you always get for free once a day, just by playing online. In any form, including draft. Eternal has this real, real smooth reward system of tiered chests. Bronze, silver, gold, and diamond, each giving progressively higher rewards. But the secret is, in every chest you ever open, there's the possibility of finding another chest, which will always be one rank higher. And yes, it is possible to go straight from bronze to platinum. And yes, this does mean that it is possible to go straight from the bronze chest all the way up to the diamond chest. In the time I've been playing it, that's happened to me about three times. And so every chest you open fills you with a little bit of joy as you get that dopamine running. Here's the thing about how these two systems feel to interact with. Eternal feels like I'm being given a fair shake. That's why I've sunk hundreds of dollars into it, whereas Hearthstone, I have yet to pay a cent into it. I like to support games that feel fair rather than extortionist. And hey, if you pick up a copy, you'll immediately feel the generosity of Eternal vs. Hearthstone. Now, as for completing the quests, Eternal also has its fair share of win X amount of games. Now, as for completing the quests, Eternal also has its fair share of win X amount of games in a certain faction quests. And it also has Hearthstone's rollover system where you can choose one a day to not have. But there's two key differences here. One is that it has quests that don't rely on you actually winning the games. There's deal 100 damage with a red deck that's pretty easy to... There's a deal 100 damage with red cards quest that's pretty easy to get. The quests that do expect big gains of you, like the win 5 games quests, actually give big rewards. The cold chest comes with a free pack, so it's a marked improvement from the two silver chests. And last but not least, winning the games. Now I'm not going to say that it's easier in Eternal to get to the top. It might be, but that's not the point. The point is, is it fun? Is it more fun to play the actual game? And the answer is yes. Most definitely. There's a wide range of strategies and solutions to implement for every situation. There's answers to everything. This is in stark contrast to Hearthstone. There's plenty of decks in Hearthstone that have zero answers to them. Because they're Blizzard's favorites. And Blizzard won't let you beat Blizzard's favorites. I will always admire Direwolf Digital for keeping the game eternal. Truly. There is an equivalent of a standard mode, but the wild mode is also supported. Imagine that. Imagine that, a format that's not just left to the dogs to spiral out of control. And I'll give them double credit because this act only gets harder as more cards are introduced. But yeah, that was a pretty quick rundown of everything that I like about Eternal over Hearthstone. It just does everything that Hearthstone is screaming out for but that Blizzard keeps interfering with. I hope this game lives a long, long prosperous life. You might even say that I wish it would go on forever. I don't know how I'm going to get all this done weekly, but I'll pull through somehow.